WGN's Julian Cruz tracking the developments. He joins us live tonight with more details. Julian. Well, Ray, a group of aldermen pushing back on the city's mayor, arguing that there's not a level playing field when it comes to introducing new measures for consideration. The council also taking action to address a pair of wrongful convictions, convictions dating all the way back to the dark days of former police commander John Burge. We have paid as a city, as taxpayers, an unbelievably heavy toll uh, for his crimes. Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot reacting to the settlement approval. $14 million paid to two individuals, Corey Batchelor and Kevin Bailey, who served decades behind bars. The victims, their lawyers say, of coerced confessions at the hands of disgraced former police commander John Burge and his men. And we have to make sure um, that when the claims are valid that we um, do what we can to address the, the harm that's been done. I have attempted to take this to committee and do it the right way. Ninth Ward Alderman Anthony Beal frustrated with the lack of progress when it comes to a measure to provide legal counsel to Chicago's 50 aldermen, helping them wade through complicated legislative issues. But when your voice is being silenced, where you can't even bring something to the floor that's beneficial to us, it's a problem, y'all. If you want to just shoot from the hip, then by all means. Mayor Lightfoot and others on the council opposing Beal's effort to bring the proposed ordinance to an immediate up and down vote, even though it hasn't been approved yet by the Rules Committee. I think it would be inappropriate for us to vote it up or down because we don't even know what we're voting for. But South Shore Alderwoman Leslie Hairston firing back. Mayor, you call upon us all the time to pass things and we work out the details later. So this is not unusual. Alderman George Cardenas says city council should focus on fighting crime first. Until we figure that out, I'm not moving on any more bureaucratic expenses to the taxpayers. The yeas are 29, the nays are 19, the motion fails. Beal's motion falling short by a 29 to 19 vote, but the ninth ward alderman making a final point. Yes, it is extremely frustrating that you have an administration that wants to consistently silence the voice of the people. Now, City Council also cracking down on the secondhand market for stolen cell phones. A new ordinance toughens regulations for pawn shops and companies who sell secondhand phones. At City Hall, Julian Cruz, WGN News.